I have been organizing against racism in Durham for the last 12 years. And I serve on the local organizing against racism uh, steering committee, because we don't call it a board, but steering committee. And we have been supportive of the racial equity task force from afar. I think it's time to dig into the weeds. I kind of gave it a lot of space to get to get the report out and kind of move in based on the, the voices of the people in the community. And now that we have the report, it's time to put that report into action. And so the recommendations that have been coming forward, I've been working very closely with members of that task force to try and bring them forward. And one of them uh, that I'm, I'm hoping to have coming forward this September is the, is the Tenants' Bill of Rights. And just acknowledging that if we make some small shifts, we can have a huge impact. And by supporting the Homes Guarantee uh, model around the Tenants' Bill of Rights, we can, we can collaborate and work across the state and federally to encourage our local, our local delegation, our state delegation, and our U.S. delegation to support this Tenants' Bill of Rights. And I hope that you'll all support us in that as well. A large part of my current job at Frontline Solutions, which is a Black-owned social justice consulting firm, is helping organizations create work environments that are equitable and affirming. None of our sisters, structures, or institutions are built for equity. They're actually all designed to protect and reinforce capitalism and patriarchy and white supremacy. So creating equitable and affirming environments requires dismantling this current status quo, centering marginalized voices, and repairing harm. And it also requires recognizing that our liberation is bound together. So as a city council member, I would lead the effort to make city council and the community at large as accessible, affirming, and equitable as possible so that every member of our community feels heard, supported, and empowered. And I think that the 2020 Racial Equity Task Force report is a fantastic report and a really necessary wake-up call for Durham. Um, I think the recommendations in that report should serve as the foundation of Durham's strategic plan, especially the recommended racial equity or racial impact tool, um, which is something that's in line with the sort of recommendations we make to our clients. And they also have a racial equity checklist. I think that that word checklist is sort of misleading because equity can't be achieved if we're thinking of it as checking off a box. But having meaningful questions to ask when we're evaluating whether a program, a policy, or a decision is actually furthering equity is an important way to make that equity tangible.